How's it going everybody? This is Lopez Gaming and welcome back to another reaction video for Genshin Impact. As usual, I have very little idea uh, what to expect uh, for this patch. Although, considering that I saw the thumbnail earlier, I think I have an idea. I know I already have this character, so I shouldn't be complaining all that much. I, I hope that in this next coming patch, we see something related to Eula. I really hope to see it. Because over on uh, websites like Reddit and Twitter, I've been seeing people uh, complain that it's been roughly a year, maybe close to two years, uh, one and a half years ever since Eula was available. I'm hoping in this uh, special program that they announce something, that they announce that Eula will be coming in this upcoming patch. Or maybe in the next one. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, as someone who owns a Eula, it's funny and sad that, that, I, that I'm seeing something like this. I really shouldn't be laughing, but but honestly, though, the, the whole situation was just hilarious to me. It's almost as though that Eula is experiencing a secondhand what it feels like to be neglected in the real world. But uh, yeah, with that said, um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, check out what the, what this patch has to offer. Though apparently there's going to be a new character here, aside from the cat girl that we saw earlier. I, I think a new character? I can't, I, I really couldn't tell. Honestly, I can't tell if it was a new character or if it's a character, or if it's a character with a new costume. I, I, I can't tell you for sure whether it is or not. Whoa, Ooh. you must be the legendary traveler. I've heard a lot about you. Oh, so it is a new character. Huh. Okay, I'm not going to lie. From the thumbnail, I thought it was Yanfei with a different look. That's what I thought initially. Um, okay, so I guess I'm glad that I was proven wrong. Eh, neat. Are you following the tournament too? Tournament, you say? It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Charlotte, a reporter for the Steambird from Fontaine. I've Charlotte. been posted here to cover hmm. the King of Invocations Grand Prix. Since you've also taken interest in the tournament, how would you like to be a special contributor for my column? Yeah, of course you'll receive payment as a contributor, and your name will even appear in the credits. For you, if I'm I'll not do anything. Mistaken, you're even acquainted with some of the contestants, right? Perhaps. Oh, ho, ho, I really do have an eye for a story, don't I? It seems like this will be a solid piece. I can see it now. Exclusive inside scoop on the renowned traveler and secrets of the TCG tournament masters. How does that sound? Yeah, I will nice say she does look know? cute, yeah, but what does she look like in game? Any journalist worth their salt knows how to look past the surface and get the hey, real fellow journalist. Any breaking news. Let's but go. Let's go. Always keep the stories based on actual facts. We can always discuss more details later. Of course, I'll be covering the latest stories from the King of Invocations Grand Prix. But I'll definitely be keeping my eyes open for any other potential news leads. When it comes to breaking news, I'm always the first on the scene. Ah, anyway, I won't keep chatting your ear off. There's a lot more exciting news waiting to be uncovered. So let's have a look. I will say this. The voice actress is very enthusiastic. But first, mm -hmm. trailer do time. Do deceive me? Or do you two have some breaking news to share with me? Wow. In Mondstadt, huh? A card snatcher? The invocation. Hmm. So the really card game said. City on the Lake teams with talent in TCG tournament as young prodigy best Favonian cavalry captain. Down on the ground, the dice spin around. While high in the sky, the sun shines bright. All right. It's Hu Tao! <laughs> oh god, she's changer. back! I, Kaidahara Kazuha, humbly. The Kazoo! Inazuma's Archon bolts her way to the semifinals, only to be stunned by a crafty opponent. <laughs> the nerve, saying that in the presence of me and Oh, there she is! The well, new character. Well, Inazuma won't be able to reach me in Fontaine, right? Hey there! You must be tired after the walk back to shore. Perhaps I should let you go first. If this red tofu with all the frills hasn't gotten too cold, I would be happy to play. Tournament? Hey, the tournament has already finished. <laughs> Damn continuity! Use forbidden hand at the opportune moment. Hey, that's an illegal move. Illegal <laughs> move, dude. There's no destination I can't deliver to. Thank you for choosing Komani. Hey, there she is. Kirara. I will say she does look cute. In game, she looks cute. 
I do like your animations. I want her. I want her in the uh, in the team. <laughs> I don't know. Both Kokomia and the <laughs> both Kokomia and the Yoi Mia are both here. Like this is tough. <laughs> Man, if both of them appear in in this in this patch, it's gonna be hard for me because on the one hand, I want Kokomi because I want a hydro applicator. On the other hand, I want Yoi Mia because. Well, I got her best in slot, so this is diff This is gonna be difficult, man. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome hey! to the Genshin Impact Let's go. Version She's back. Seven special program. I'm your host, Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of Lumi. Sarah, let's and go. I have a new friend here with me. Make sure the truth comes first and report stories that stand out the most. This is reporter Charlotte from the Steambird. A pleasure to meet you. Hey, everybody. I'm Maya Alkitettle, the voice of Charlotte. Maya Alkitettle. As mentioned just hmm. now, Charlotte is a reporter. Never heard of you, Montaigne, but hey, she's you, you sound so enthusiastic. I will excuse you. You may have probably already heard of. Oh, for sure. It's been mentioned in several places throughout the game now. And if I remember correctly, Mona also writes a column for the Steambird. So it um, seems like it's pretty famous and people She does write a column, but I don't yes, remember if it was right. But I'm not the only on the special Steam correspondent in our hmm. special program today. We also have other special correspondents reporting from the field that will help like us bring all the information we need about this like upcoming version. Uh, like in the so uh, recent most events. Okay, I bet everyone's ready to see what we have in store, so why don't we dive right in? <laughs> okay, seems there's quite a lot going on in the picture here. I see a couple familiar faces. Yep. And let me guess, the cute one in the middle with pink hair and a camera in her hands must be Charlotte, right? Ooh, that's right. <laughs> Charlotte's the one with the camera. She is a journalist after all, so she's got her equipment ready at all times. She's covered so wars, you know. Version, in the event story <laughs> like, like now you might be wondering, why is Charlotte here? Why Why does it look like she's going to be a playable character? She's Given covered wars, you know. <laughs> Charlotte will be heading to several nations to gather her There's going to be a lot of Dead Rising jokes okay, on this one. I just, if she attacks so with her camera, if she attacks with her camera, like, you know, just have a flashes available for her? Bro, I am going to be out the event venues I really want so I really wanted that get ready case. to embark on a genius invocation TCG journey whoop, whoop. however a keen and active reporter like Charlotte won't only focus on the genius invocation TCG events even though that's really important but during this journey she will also be investigating a very strange case alongside the traveler Ooh, a strange case huh okay that does actually sound really newsworthy <laughs> right? But uh, that's all I can share for now. Yeah, I gotta wait until the patch happens. To unveil in version 3.7. So mm -hmm. if you want to find out what happens, then make sure you don't miss out. Yay! We hope our travelers have a great time in this event. In addition to the event storyline we just introduced, the Adventurers Guild has also prepared some other event mini games to spice up the TCG tournament. Uh, oh, joy. Right. There will be a tour oh, of and there's a bow. Game modes, including a tour of wonders, uh, zero hour invitation, I kind of don't want to. Though. Ever motion mechanical <laughs> painting, and heart of the dice. In a but tour if it means wonders, primo gems and then a new bow, I may as well. Nations. Unlike the official tournament matches, this format adopts a special rule set, so you won't be able to use your own decks. Oh. Instead, you will have to build a deck by selecting cards out of the decks prepared oh. by the organizers. And chances are, you'll get to duel against some familiar faces. Okay, <laughs> okay. okay, I get it, I get Sounds it. Sounds like fun already. All right, what about Evermotion Mechanical Painting? a pool of cards of instead of dice? bringing your own. many of our travelers right, have right. played Evermotion Mechanical Painting before. Oh, no. introduced by a dreamer from Fontaine. Oh, I don't like this. No. This is coming back. I remember a puzzle taking so long to, uh, to, uh, to beat. Maybe because I'm not that big brain, <laughs> but still. <laughs> That hey, would be all for what the, the hell? Event. Oh, There's okay. a cat in the, in the in corner. In version 3.7, there will not only be a genius invocation event, 
but also a major update to the TCG game itself. New what? characters! Oh, okay, that's awesome. What can All we right. expect to the see Archons. in the update, Let's then? go! So, in the upcoming version, many new cards will be added to Genius Invocation TCG, including character cards, monster cards, and action cards. Amazing, right? I mean, yeah. I'll say this. Also I don't play TCG Animo, as much as, Geo, as I Electro, used to, but I'm glad that this is getting updated uh, here and the there. Mm -hmm. I, I, I quite like this. some incredible and fun new decks. The Arena of Champions mode will be available too. And and what'll be different? Oh about this no! Game? PvP. In this mode, travelers must use their deck to duel against each other and accumulate a total of five victories. Ooh. Okay, well I mean, at least, at least it's from a separate mode, a so it's not. Duels. So I guess it's not Plus, the end of the world, right? It, like I say, like, I say what I said. I said it in the way I said it, so but honestly, it ain't the end of the world. If people like it, people like it. Deck and your TCG skills, then be sure to come to the Cat's Tail and give it a shot. Okay, that sounds pretty intense. Will there be anything for someone less experienced, you know, maybe like myself? And me! <laughs> I got you. Okay, so another TCG mode DVE. is called the Forge Realms Temper, which will also be available. Ooh. You'll be allowed to configure the difficulty of the game mode, as well as to choose hey. from a bunch of additional conditions to score extra points. Okay. Perfect. I'll definitely be picking some conditions. Yeah, my maybe that one. <laughs> maybe that one would be for me. All right. So it's not just I mean, PvP. It's also what, PvE as well. Because there's these more <laughs> modes on, being here? implemented Where's into this game. So. Hey. <laughs> I got so caught up in listening to you two talking that I almost anyway, forgot that I'm is. on the job. Anyway, here I am. Aww. Aww. I have an urgent delivery for you. Please sign here, and I'd really appreciate it if you could leave me a good review. Thank you. Oh my gosh. So cute! Welcome back, travelers! Our two special correspondents this time are. Ah! Da -da -da. It's me! So, no more it's the journalist? Mori, the oh. Hi, everybody! But hey, at <laughs> so least, at least you me is here. So, that's doing nice. the special that's program. Nice. This is one of the most exciting it's, moments of my life. It's Yay. acceptable. Woo! Meowdy, travelers! I'm Meowdy, Goo, the voice actress for the new playable character, Kirara. Okay, so you were in a kitty box just now, so thank you for that urgent delivery. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's just Kirara's job. Oh, the scenery yeah, there is, she is wonderful. <laughs> I've landed the perfect job. So what is she then? Like, what element is she? Coming through. Oh, I see now. Dendro. I don't know why, but when I look at her, she looks more Geo than Denjo. Hmm. Oh my gosh, you want her to be my best friend? She's so cute! <laughs> so cute. Her tails! Her tails! tails. Her tails. She is cute, heart. though. I That's will say the that. the adorable thing I've ever seen. I know. Two tails, though? Did you guys see her in the hmm. little box? It was like, oh, she coming. Oh, she coming. Oh, <laughs> no, she a coming. I want to so eat cute. the jellies. I want to eat those slimes. <laughs> Kiara works as a courier for Komania Express and often makes international deliveries. She's also a yokai from Inazuma called a Nekomata, and there's mm -hmm. nothing she can't deliver. Oh, okay, that explains like the cute little kitty cat tails and why her shoes are like. All right, cute so she's a combination of a UPS Komi driver and solid and snake. She just her. travels around a box. So, uh, actually, nice, uh, nice. Just her as a Metal Gear Solid oh, fan, I'm specifically three. Kirara. I dig this. Uh, even though I dig she it. could use her yokai powers to have human feet. She's still a Nekomata and feels more comfortable using her own claws to move. That and makes her own sense. Beans. They're so cute. Her own toe beans, really yeah. Are. And also, Kirara has two tails. Can you tell us anything about that? Mm. Spoilers! Oh, yeah. I'm assuming. The tail represents a Nekomata's potential. Oh. So, with two tails, I guess this means that Kirara is a really powerful yokai. Some bandits might assume that Kirara is an easy target, thinking that it would be easy to steal a package from a young girl, Ooh. but... <laughs> But they are in fact fools, Ooh. and this mistake <laughs> always ends with the bandits running off after she gives them a good thrashing. I'm obsessed uh, with this. So she's awesome. Just little <laughs> kitty cat girl boss. Cat like, girl okay, boss. And yeah. Having her as your courier basically like determines that your package is going to get there safe. That is incredible service. Oh yeah, no doubt about that. Kirara is a very responsible worker and will do her best to ensure every order she receives is delivered. Of course. If the client can spare a meowment, she yes. doesn't mind receiving a good review. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, she is so I'll be the cute. judge of that if I ever get her. I would definitely give her an extra tip right on the spot. Absolutely. Like, catnip, 
fish, Mora, whatever she wants. <laughs> okay, so how did a yokai from Inazuma end up working as a delivery person? What is what's the what's the line there? Okay, well, if you think about it, the yokai in Inazuma do seem to have a mix of jobs. So True. Yeah. Well, speaking of which, even though Kiara is a strong yokai, she does care about her work and enjoys her job. She I also enjoys the case. society, fashion, going to places she's never had the Very fashionable. Before. I'd say her almost as fashionable as enjoying me. And also allows her to explore new places. To her, working is basically like getting to take a series of uh, <clears throat> expense-free trips. <laughs> Wait, you know what I just realized? Charlotte is technically traveling for work too. So maybe they can get together hmm. and enjoy some expense-free outings. Hell yeah, hotel okay, parties. I think everyone is waiting to learn more about this yokai courier's abilities. Absolutely, yes, correct. Mm, All right. For sure. Let's move into Kirara's ah. skills. Oh. <laughs> Kirara is a dendro element sword user and can effectively assist mm, her sword. companions. Sword. Great, that's what I need, another sword user. <laughs> okay, I don't have any five-star swords, She's dude. Like, Even like after playing since, uh, since launch I week, it. I... Yeah. I really, I still don't have a good five-star weapon, dude. A good five-star sword weapon. Smaller animals without startling them. She's an apex predator. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. So it's gonna be easier to get like fowl and raw meat, and easier to hunt. Yeah, watch out, Timmy. Timmy should watch <laughs> back. Oh no, Timmy! <laughs> Not Timmy! No! Yes, Timmy. Anyone no! but <laughs> sorry. <Sass> me. <laughs> well, she's always going to keep you well fed, no matter the means. Uh, by tapping her elemental skill, Kirara creates a dendro shield that can protect her from uh -huh. harm. Okay, shields are great. They'll keep both her and the delivery safe, which is Love all that shield. matters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I'm assuming she's a, she's a support character then. will not only grant shields, but also put Kirara in a unique state. Cool. So the whole thing is that that's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life, and I need you to immediately tell me more about it. Right, meow. It looks like it doesn't <laughs> use up. No problem at all. Thank you. Yes. It doesn't use case, up any uh, deal dendro damage any stamina, slamming right? into enemies, but more uniquely, this state will also drastically increase her movement and climbing speed, along with her jumping ability. Okay. Um, that sounds super useful. So just so I can get this straight, she'll be able to just climb straight up walls. Oh, yeah, she'll be able to go straight up a vertical surface in this state. Um, yeah, it looks like it, she, okay. it doesn't use up well, stamina. That's, that's actually the best thing ever. Okay. <laughs> Unironically, that's actually very playing. interesting. No no stamina that's usage. That's why she's a hmm. trustworthy courier. Mm -hmm. But I'm assuming there's a and catch, finally, though. finally, with her elemental burst, she smashes the enemy with a special delivery package, which then explodes into numerous small dendro bombs. These bombs will then explode upon contacting enemies or after a duration, dealing dendro damage. And can we just appreciate the fact that the bombs are kitty shaped? Because I'm obsessed with that. <laughs> and yeah. so cute. This so is cute. definitely a character tags, that deliveries and she um, has on first glance isn't bombs. meta. Like it definitely <laughs> isn't a meta character. It's one of those characters she where it's adorable. So it's more like, Kirara, if you love her, you're going to get her. Like, if you love her, her visuals, if you love her design, if you love, if you love her moves, then you're definitely going to get her. It's more of a superficial world. kind of character. Ooh, so who wants to go on a trip? Oh my gosh, wait, is it you and Mia? Because you guys are like looking <laughs> oh? at me, a humble oh? PNG. Amazing, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Well, I think you might be knowledgeable about traveling across Yeah, let's go! A new story quest? On wow. Story quest. I totally Chapter do. two I of Yoemiya. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the Sakoku decree has been repealed for some time now, and Yoemiya has been wanting to go out and see the outside world. Visit. In version yeah. seven, the second act to Yoemiya's Karasius Arata story quest is about to begin. Woohoo! She will be embarking on a globe trotting adventure, heading to Sumeru, the nation of wisdom, alongside the traveler. Whoop whoop. It's a pretty far trip. I mean, we still don't have any Monstat characters. Well, too, we still don't have any any uh, Monstat characters that have a chapter I two, right? Unless I'm wrong. I think this is the first time that we're seeing an act two yeah, yeah. of uh -huh. of a non-Archon you know, character. Traveling with a girl as easygoing and cheerful and cool and amazing. Not that I'm biased or anything. As you and Mia will be a joy. I think. I'm sure there is, but honestly, I'm honestly, companion. I'm not yeah, complaining. Not I'm not complaining. I do want to see more of Yoi Mia. But to ensure that everyone gets the most, because I feel that out of quest, every character in Inazuma, she's the one that, that get the to is a ray of sunshine in a sea of dark I'll clouds. I, that's what I think. <laughs> okay. 
But that, when? That, that's nice of you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, yeah, see, I'm good. <laughs> A huge but when the time bright comes, spot. I hope you Amia's new story can brighten everyone's day just mm. like she always My question is, is aside from Sumeru, oh, where else are we going to visit? Are we going to visit sure. Leeway and uh, Monsat as well? No, not no. biased. No, hmm. none of us. Just honest. Honest. <laughs> <laughs> also, kind of like speaking of honesty, I was honestly wondering what new companions can travelers invite for their teams in version 3.7. All right. right. That Here it comes. That brings us to our event wishes. I think this is something our travelers are always interested in. So yeah, 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 yeah I wonder why. Seven's event wishes. Please direct your attention to the big screen. Ta-da! Oh, where did that come from? Oh, Yay, Miko I and Yoimiya. Today's reporters. <clears throat> what? Oh. According to reliable sources, the first half of three. Reliable sources. Yeah. Okay. At the same and then Kiara is going to be Kirara the radar. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. In these event wishes. So, so Yoimiya is in. Kirara is uh, available as soon as the as soon as the patch drops. And the second half of version three point seven. Oh, Kazuya and Alhaitha. Kazuya and Alhaitha getting their own rerun. Nice. Sarah, why are you talking like that? Because we're reporters. Obviously, oh, Sarah, with the help of their companions, we hope that all our travelers all right. will be able to. For those who want uh, Ka Kazuya and I'll hate and them, you know what? Go the get them. Go get them. <laughs> the weather. As for myself, is still weather. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> it's weird that <laughs> it's weird that Kakomi was available in the also in this uh, in the story, is, but is hey, very own hangout event will also Kabe. be available in version three point seven. <gasps> I am curious yeah, about what his story is like. Sumeru. What his hangout yeah, is like. Yeah, and Kave is quite so, the character. Yeah, color me interested. I might, I might want to check this out. Free, he has certain principles that he always clings to. I'm sure as we spend time with him during the hangout, we'll get to know him a anyway, lot better. Anyway, though, I think oh, I have no choice but to know. get Yoi Mia then. <laughs> So travelers if uh, Kokomi ends up being in the next patch, then and God. <laughs> oh God! I can't even. I can't Yay. even begin to imagine. Yeah. Woo. I don't know if you guys have seen, but there are videos out there of people showcasing their own stages, and it's crazy. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, absolutely. So, I hope all our creative travelers out there won't miss this event. Remember to share your codes or videos, and let everyone play your domains. Traps. Oh dear. Okay, so I think next, she has a fixation for traps. <laughs> I could be the wrong. Of the departed warriors. A mysterious domain has appeared near the Falcon. Take coast, that as you will. <laughs> with powerful foes. They can use them to enter the Oh yeah. Yeah, it's, it's the photo. It's the quote unquote photo event. The weaknesses of their opponents. Yeah, I joked that this was a Frank Westa mode. <laughs> more weaknesses this is a Dead Rising mode. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I remember now. I, I, I wholeheartedly remember this now. <laughs> Ooh, having the ability to detect weaknesses is very Okay, you know what? I'm, 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 okay, you know what? I'm Not glad that this, is, that this is back. All right, all right, all right. This Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Bye. 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 All right, see you later. Bye. <laughs> oh, hold up. Something else is going on here. What's this? Hmm. Hey, yo! That has to be for Fontaine. That has to be for Fontaine. Yeah, you see the traveler just swimming underwater. Hey! All right. Well, hey, hey, at least we get a tease. We get a, like a little, a little something, something for what to expect uh, later down the line. I'm assuming this is Fontaine, though. Had it not been for that little stinger, it probably would have been a. I mean, it's only an all right. Uh, it's only an all right special program, like honestly. But with this one, though, okay. You know what? It, it kind of made the the wait a little worth it. Just a teeny bit, though. Not by a lot. But just a teeny bit. But with that said, there are some things here that I am looking forward to. As you know, obviously the main sh the main star of the show is going to be the uh, uh, the uh, the main event, uh, the the TCG thing. And then Yoimi is coming up. And I did say a couple times here and there during my Genshin streams that I'm looking forward to characters like Yoimiya and Kakomi. It's either one or the other. In fact, after Dia, I stated that. Once I get Dia, I'm likely going to just save up for either Yoimiya or Kokomi, one or the other, whichever one comes first. I guess uh, this uh, this stream had just answered my question, and yeah, I'm likely just going to get Yoimiya because I do have her best in slot weapon. I may as well get her as well, right? That makes the most sense to me. And if, if it just so happens that Kokomi is in the next patch, 
Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Kira is also coming in as well. I, I, I mean, if I do end up getting her in the whenever I pull for Yoimiya, then I'll get her. And to be quite honest with you, I don't think it's a bad thing. Like I don't. I did complain that she might that she's more of that she's a character that's more for looks than she is for meta, but hey, you know what? If I do end up getting her, I'm not going to complain all that much because she is an adorable, she is a cute character. I will say that. And there's also the second chapter for Yoimiya's quest, so that's something to look forward to. And I and I am kind of curious how a someone as someone who it, who was in who was living in Inazuma during the Sokoku decree. I'm wondering I, I do I have I am curious about how it, an Inazuman would react to the world or at least like as much of the world as possible. The teaser suggests that that we would be visiting Sumeru with Yoimiya, but I wonder if there if we're going to be visiting any other nations like Liwe and Mondstadt. And then that Mario Maker mode is is going back. I mean, okay, I guess like it's it's fine. I'm still waiting for the Labyrinth Warriors to come back or at least become a permanent mode. I guess like that's something that I really want to see. Like I really do. It's like the one mode that I really love. And I'm still waiting even after like even after what feels like a year. I think it has been a year actually. Has it? Actually, a little more than just a year. Now that I'm thinking about it. In terms of side events, there's not a lot to talk about, really. There's not even a... There's not even a uh, an event where you could just... Uh, there's not even a ley light event. Like, there's, not, there's nothing like that. Aside from that, it's a bit of a light to patch uh, this time around. A bit. But hey, there's at least some stuff to look forward to. If you're a fan of... Of you and Mia, this you y'all are gonna be eating good this patch. And that's gonna do it for uh, for today's reaction video. If you like what you see, uh, leave a like, leave a comment, and consider subscribing for uh, more stuff like this. And until then, take care.